the Malaya says, I get disturbed by people, negative comments, people who just make false comments to defame me sometimes. Yeah, well, it's like you're walking in the street, you see some dog shit and debris and vomit. What do you do? You get offended? Well, that's what's they wor what they're worth, that they're l laying down there. That's what it is. You don't pay attention to it. You walk by. You find your steps in clean places and you walk by. You can't spend time on people who mean malice to you. There's so many of them around. People have different facial expressions. People have different masks on. People put up a maybe a... Um, confident look and image on themselves but they could be scared like heck inside them intrusive thoughts uh, incapabilities of being able to handle life they're worth nothing they do nothing they they know nothing but they want to be considered so they put an image of you know false confidence these are all images and you guys get affected or buy into that image that they have put out, which is a false image anyhow. You get impressed by the image of a confidence of some stupid idiot out there who's got nothing going for him, but he's got some kind of a, you know, dumb image that because you're a smart, good person, you think that image is trying to represent and communicate that person's smartness and capability. No, that person most probably is dumb if you see someone is having extraordinary um, uh, images that means they're hiding something that they're they're weak otherwise a person who is strong and confident will not have a negative uh, facial expression on will always have a positive facial expression a happy facial expression a logical facial expression and in tune with and harmony with the surroundings and nature we will not be trying to prove anything when there is no need to prove anything it's just passing by what's that expression of this good for that is a way to protect themselves because they're insecure those people with that kind of impressions expressions on their faces that you see whether they have a dark glasses on and they pretend that they've got it all figured out in in life, they've got it all, all philosophies and life philosophy and everything else, so much full of confidence. It's all bullshit. It's the same as the bullies in the school, that they've got nothing going for them. They have no talent to make themselves important or become valuable. The only way for them is, who do I see that I think is better than me, better looking than me, nicer person than me doesn't bother anybody and i'm just gonna go and try to chop him down or say some bad words to him and make him feel bad or and those good kids do feel bad because they're so honest and pure and they have no malice in their mind and they don't bother anybody or say negative things to other people so when other people say that sort of stuff to them they think, well, those are the people who uttered these sort of nonsense might be honest and good people too because they're good people themselves. And their word, the garbage word that comes out of those bullies' mouth makes an impression on them that is there any truth to it? Should I investigate this word that they uttered and this negative connotation that they uh, implied on me? It's all because they don't understand these good kids they don't understand they have no bone of negativity in them they're full of confidence and they have no reason to mean ill for anybody so they can't understand if someone actually could mean ill to them because we always see people in the image of ourselves if we are good we think people are good but that is not true you should be aware that there are snakes out there and they try to simply make themselves look like if they're important or are capable of something or valuable when they are not. So they try to put you down, say bad shit about you. 
that's just the same as anything else that is negative in this world. We live in a duality. There is good and bad. You cannot think that because you're good, everybody else is good too. You've got to be aware of it. It's the same kind of thing, thinking that any thought that shows up, it's got a legitimate meaning or it's of importance or it means anything. Most things in our life are irrelevant because they are not reflecting you. They're actually reflecting whoever is uttering it, whoever is acting it. And the thought itself is reflecting on the thought that has no basis. It just pops up for no reason. And the reason is that we have a negative mind and many other things that have been introduced to our consciousness one way or another by television, history, books, uh, videos, whatnot, they have all found a place as a reservoir of information or happenings in this world, in this earth. And the negative thought, intrusive thoughts, gets a hold of it. And for one reason or another, which we can discuss it later, it's going to be another discussion, it runs with it because its job supposedly is to protect us and if you can't find any danger it conjures up something because that's its job that's all it will do and then add OCD to that and the glitch of carded nucleus that can't get that stopped and then add to that the lack of GABA um, tran uh, um, neurotransmitters which comes from uh, not doing meditation when you do meditation there is certain huge amount of GABA neurotransmitters are created which it helps the ability to shut down intrusive thoughts when we lack that the intrusive thoughts will linger longer the stress of not sleeping enough which would allow uh, microglial cells to go and find the synaptic neuron bridges that have been marked by CQ1 protein that they're not useful anymore they'll destroy it but if you don't sleep enough you won't have that chance for glial cells to go to do their jobs and clean up the debris like a garden needs to be cleaned up so the nutrients go to the flowers so it can't clean up your brain and your brain is cluttered then add the lack of meditation, not enough neurotransmitters of GABA there, then intrusive thoughts will have an easier way to hide be between the debris and pop up anytime they want without your knowledge or any involvement in it. So you can see all of that, it just means you've got to be above it all, above all these thoughts that show up above all the opinions of all these other people that could utter about you negatively you got to be the judge not the one that absorbs these things and tries to find out what they mean they mean nothing they're irrelevant you must understand that you are the judge and these all other things other people's opinions and thoughts that show up in your mind in your brain intrusive thoughts any kind of they're all beneath you and you decide which takes your attention, which doesn't. Based on your core values, based on your gatekeeper, based on your um, uh, wise advocate, based on super consciousness, based on your true self inner values, you see if that comment or that thought that popped up has any value, is in line with your values of your life or not. And that's the end of it. You are the judge thought and other people's comments are all irrelevant when you understand that then you got the flow of life that you're looking for so be mindful of that that you're the boss nothing else there was something else I want to tell you guys I forgot but that's how you deal with this all right um, where was I? I forgot the last sentence I wanted to add to that but hell well that's what happens 
Uh, all right. And Deb Malaya has another question. We'll get back to it. Let me go to other people and then we'll try to deal one question for everyone and then we'll come back to what's left. And, um, oh, this is pra probably what I wanted to say. Please do watch the videos that I've put up for you guys on the playlist. Um, intrusive thoughts, transient thoughts, OCD, HOCD, negative thoughts. It's a playlist with that title. Look at all the videos in there. Definitely the ones that is numbered. Number one to number 20 or 19. Those are very important for you to know about yourself. You've got to focus on understanding you and thoughts are not the same. And you're total, you are the me. Thoughts are just there to be judged by you. Um, 